Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Civ 5 as Venice, where we last left off. Things are looking pretty good. Why you stopped, I don't know. Oh, because there's a unit there. We go by Belgrade. Because. Seven eighteen science. Hey, is in the wait in the industrial era? How far ahead am I? I guess to be fair, I am like totally ignoring some of these. Yeah, it sucks, but oh well. It's a price that had to be paid. You know, come to think of it, have I only been gifted one great person this entire time for my city-states? It's kind of annoying. Yay! More food! <laughs> See, how many votes in total? 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 15, 18. So with 19 votes, I basically can pass whatever I want. And I still have about a third of my votes left, so... Hey! 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 Wait, is that the same? No. Hi, hi, hi. Just because I can do this. <whistles> 20 pressure here just because of the trade routes. Oh well. He's spending so much faith on missionaries. It's ridiculous. He can't be getting that much faith per turn either. Wait, you're at war with Antwerp, seriously? Well, I'll give them units. Wait, is Monaco at war with them too? Wow, is Greece seriously looking to settle right there? by me. I love that 100% bonus. Still don't have... Max, uh, specialist, though. We're working a lot of tiles, just none of them are food tiles. None of them are ocean tiles, pretty much. Rather. Go and save up and buy the hospital. I'd want to get rid of it. Give it to, like, Sophia or something. Gatlin gun? Actually, that act that sounds good. I'm going to keep it. 
come on over here. Hit the brain. Another researcher gamma complete. Nice. There never was a good Whoa, night. Whoa! I finished two tacks in one turn. That is rare in this game. The hospital going 46 extra food per turn still, and I'm almost size 30. Nice. Voting soon. Got enough time to buy two more city states. Science to ice cream. Yeah, 357. With a 133% modifier. Me likey. Well, if I can get up to all but the buying spaceship parts with gold, we'll go finish uh, rationalism up. Because there's not much point in getting that until I can actually do it. And given how much culture return I'm getting, it won't take me very long to get another policy. Plus, the Sydney Opera House would be quite lovely. Sydney Opera House and the Statue of Liberty both. Quite lovely. Wait, has the Red Fort been built? Yes, that's not surprising. Where people want to trade out, which is always good, because that's very easy to do. higher. Well, if I get another available ship, that's the first place I'll go. We want to make sure that we get those guys. Yeah, sure. We can be friends. That was gutsy, especially because he's definitely going to die this turn. The Antwerp looks like it could use some more units. You know what, the Gatling gun would be better in Antwerp's possession than mine. So I'm not necessarily going to need it, and it's not unique. And Oh, I can have two more trade routes! I think I'm going to wait until I get enough gold. Actually, no, because if I buy one, I can ally with Tyre. And it'll be cheaper than spending a thousand gold. So I can buy at least one, assuming I can trade with Tyre. Not uh, sure what's available. T, T. Tire. From Florence? From Florence only. Seriously? <laughs> There's almost no... Yeah, I mean, if I could true from... Wow. So they're just, just barely out of range. Oh, here we go. Here's a unit for you. Although... Wait, not you. You're not at war, I don't think. But you definitely are. Let's see here. Do I give him the cannon? I think they find more use of a Gatling gun, so... Okay. And I can actually buy another trade ship just straight up. 
Who else wants to trade route? Riga? Manila? Riga. Riga and Tyre. Hopefully I remember that. I probably won't. That oil just now appear. Okay, they attacked Antwerp. Yeah, I noticed. Did they just make peace already? What the heck, man? Yeah, sorry I can't announce them. Actually, no, I'm not friends with them. Because if you're friends with someone to announce them, then everybody hates you for some reason. It's like, you backstabbed your friend. Well, he's not exactly my friend anymore. These things have to stop at some point, given that we're immortal. Okay, let me check. So this cost is 3140. Yep, the cost still goes up when you get the city states. But eh, it's I don't think it's worth it in terms of science, but all in all it's probably better. All right, so I was going to send you to Riga. money at all but the points are worth it I should surpass and give me enough time to buy out one more city-state yak ci się podoba moja op Lots of stuff popping up. It is well. Bruce 
one where I can... Oh, I got a great rider from a city-state. Which could give me a substantial amount of culture, which I would actually prefer. Yay! So we'll get two more in an effort to get ready. Otherwise, we good. We good. Okay, so now we're going to focus on trading with just city-states based solely upon the amount of influence I have with them. And the idea that I'm going to have in my mind is a hundred influence or less or I'm not allied with them. There we go. Deveremos prosperar através do comércio? Let's see, that's the actual price should be not three hundred. It's two forty plus one twenty is three sixty. Can we get that much? Yeah, that's what I thought. I didn't buy a city state, oh well. I've got the vote. Actually, this would be a good test to see if it counts. I think I'm fairly certain that if you buy a city state when you vote for the world leader, it does count. And I assume that's because the world leader is spur of the moment, and they figure that because you didn't know ahead of time, it's fair for that to happen. Though I am not sure how it f the game feels about this, because obviously you can tell this is going to happen. So we're going to check that out. That's fighting on my borders. I don't really want to denounce Rome, but I might get around to doing it if someone wants me to do it. Ask me to do it or something like that. We'll see. Because that would actually give me a nice diplo boost with a lot of people. Ain't that do for a great musician? Five turns? What? I had six turns five turns ago. Bingo, bingo, bingo. All right, so we have 33 votes. Let's buy them from you. Well, actually, I'm trading with you, ain't I? Which makes sense. So let's see, there's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 17. So I need 18 votes for this to pass. And embargo Brazil. Well, you know what? I'm just, because nobody really likes you, I'm going to kind of do that. So make sure I count this right. 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 10, 14, 17. Yes.
four cities with an average of so four cities with almost 800 signs is basically an average of. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna have to fix that. Basically, an average of 200 signs per city, which is amazing. It's too bad I can't annex my cities because they're not giving me as much science as they could. They could be giving me an extra. Uh, let's see, that's three fourths. How do you do that? Brain is equal to three fourths, so you multiply it by four and divide it by three. I would like a decimal, please. Three hundred one science per turn because they're puppets. So we go in. You can see that. Yeah, you get minus twenty five percent. Potentially, it's it, that. That's assuming that there are no bonuses, which is not the case. Because uh, you get plus 33. So in reality, it's probably closer to 200. Alright, let's see how the votes did. Mongolia made it? Weren't they Protestant? They were. Now they're not. So, world religion Protestantism means that... See, I don't even get that. That's that's messed up. So, great profit next. Oh, and I need to ally with you because you guys are coal. It's pretty important. Okay, so is there something that I want? World ideology. Something that I want to pass that I know that they won't pass, which is. Because they may, because I, I want the World's Fair and I want historical landmarks, but they may go for those two, and they won't go for World Ideology Freedom, and I'll get two more delegates from this. And with my tech lead, I'm not really worried about not getting the Statue of Liberty. Yeah, that's pretty dang. I mean, the average is only three behind the worst, and I'm eight percent above. So, yeah, I am fairly comfortable with my tech lead, and the fact that I'm getting these these in like five turns. Is helping. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save my culture f until I get Crystal Redentar. I'm going to buy a research lab pronto, as soon as I get Oxford done. So I'll start up right after the Eiffel Tower, which I can't get it for another 12 turns anyway. So I may have to stall it a turn, but that's fine. Tis fine by me. So, someone mentioned that on a Pangea map, Venice is uh, super weak, but on a Archipelago map, or whatever this map is called, it's really overpowered. And I agree with it, and that's the reason why I went for this map type. So, I kind of went for, like, the best map for my Civ. Which, you know, difficulty 6. I still have to capitalize on it, so... We'll see. I, I don't think they're, they're underpowered on a Pangea map, and the reason because... And the only time I think they're underpowered on a Pangea map will be if you have to start bias disabled because the majority of the time they will all I'd say about 90% of the time they'll start on on the ocean. And that's not always true because I've seen them on a Pangea map when they're not on the ocean. Um, actually no, that wasn't a Pangea map, was it? There was no ocean on that map, so never mind. I have never seen them anywhere but next to an ocean tile. So, with that in mind, they can still have a super powerful uh, naval trade. Which is what you want, because you get double gold from naval trade routes. The fact that he has twice as much basically means you're getting four times as much than you would from a land trade route. Which is why having a naval city is so good when it comes to gold.
You know, the fact that Alexander also ended up in this game, though, kind of balances it out. I mean, the fact that he's just so OP, because he always goes down patronage, which means that his stuff degrades at 75% less normal, which means that one if he gets has no influence, spends 1,000 gold for 70, he stays allies with them for 40 turns, assuming that they have minus one per turn. It's ridiculous. How do I still not have a great merchant? Or a great, not merchant, a great musician. There we go. About stinking time, man. It's gonna be a while till I get another one, but I don't want to. That I, do so. to I don't want to pop either of them until I get a third one, so I get my bonus. Let's see. We are twenty-four turns or four turns away from a great engineer, which is great. Twelve turns away, that will become longer once we finish. I like that, that's nice. I'll be able to rush... something else. I think I'm gonna rush the Statue of Liberty. Put the free policy and all. And the boost in production. I think... The fact that I'm getting... Influence from trade routes, and I'm going to be focusing on them as such. It means that I'm no longer going to start buying city states. We're going to have to go through this almost every time. Actually, let's just go for the. See, they're by name. So. La Venta, what are you trading with? Mogadashu. Cannot trade with. Here. Yeah, yep. Boom. Sleep. So basically now it's just going to be buying everything in my uh, puppeted cities. I think that's more or less the plan, but first I want to buy everything in Venice. Because at this point on in the game, aside from when I can rush stuff... Although, let's see. I'm going to want to get... Well, here's the question. Do I want to get... Oh, well, that's not surprising. Give him something. Do I want to get Inquisitors, or do I want to get... A Great Profit? So a Great Profit will cost me 2,500, let's just say. An Inquisitor costs 900. So four Inquisitors will cost way more... Than a great profit. I think I just have enough for a great profit. So we'll go ahead and hit Florence or Bucharest and Geneva. No, not Bucharest. I'm already allies with them. We'll hit Geneva. We'll go Geneva, Florence, Ur, and then Milan. Because I only need the majority to get the votes, which is three out of four. Or it actually could be two out of four too, because it's while well, it's not the well, it's technically not the majority, it is half. Which might be enough, but then again, maybe not. 25, okay. A couple more turns. John Cage. What the heck's he doing out of Mortal Kombat? I think that's Johnny Cage. But, whatever. I wonder if militaristic city states ever give naval units. Like, if you have a naval city, I don't see why not. Like, you could just figure that out. Or, like, they have a, they, they're a naval city, you're a naval city, then you get naval units. Like, that makes sense to me, but it's a video game. <laughs> 
part of a video game is not making sense. And it's time for me to cut the video off. So we're just going to let my turn finish out. Okay. Lhasa? I want to say it's Lhasa, but I have a feeling the H is silent. Unless I get a cargo ship, I'll go ahead and spend some gold. Not like I won't have enough. Cargo ship? Nope. They're faith based. Yeah, there's a thousand. They're actually they're so far away I may not be able to make a trade route with them. So Whatever. Anyway, cutting the video off here. Thank you all very much for watching, and God bless.